All right, hello, grade eights, and welcome to lesson 5.1, Exploring Circles, uh, found on page 151 of your textbook. And the goal is to draw circles and explore measurements. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there's going to be a lot going on here, so you're going to have to pause a lot. Or you're going to have to go back and review, all right, because I, you can't write as quickly as I'm going to be speaking. So after every slide, pause, make sure you get everything down, and then uh, carry on, okay? So feel free to stop me at any point by raising your hand and saying, could you hold on a second, sir, and then press the pause on YouTube. All right, so let us begin. All right, so all these definitions, make sure you get them. Um, make sure you get the um, example down, okay? So that's gonna take a while. All right, so this video will be long over by the time you, before you finish in all of this. So pause and go back and make sure you get all this down. Now, radius. Radius is a line segment that goes from the center of the circle to its circumference or to the edge of the circle. But important to know that the radius goes from the center, okay, to the end. All right, and I'm going to have to put it on to the little marker thingy there, okay? So from the edge, edge to the center and vice versa. Basically half the circle, okay? So that's the radius. So center to the edge and in this case uh, in all cases it's called a circumference all right which is a measurement of the entire circle but we're going to go through that a little bit later all right right now take down radius copy this example down pause and do it do it all right here we go here we go next one next one all right diameter diameter is the line segment that runs from one side of the circle through the center to the other uh, to the other side so from edge to edge but passing through the center very important because there's another designation of a line that runs from end to end but diameter runs through the center okay and that's the difference between the diameter and the other chords they're called and we'll go through those in a second but diameter is from one end to the other passing through the center all right so I'll take this Okay, first of all, I'll start with this. Take down definition and then copy this uh, example. Okay, make sure you got this example down and I'm hoping you're using a compass. All right, so um, we'll pause for a second and then you can continue. And in the meantime, after you've paused, welcome back. We'll move on to the next one. All right, circumference. Essentially, circumference is the measurement of the whole circle. Okay. It's the whole circle, boundary of a circle, the length of this boundary. Essentially, it's the perimeter. I'm going to try to write this down neatly, but I'm not really having very much luck. Okay, essentially, the circumference is the perimeter of the circle. Okay, the perimeter, so the boundary around, the measurement around the circle is the perimeter of the circle. Circumference is the measurement of a circle, which is the perimeter of the circle. Okay, so get that down hopefully you're able to understand this and again we'll review next day so don't, don't stress out too much about this make sure you got the circumference and the uh, example okay pretty simple stuff okay maybe put a little arrow around it to make sure you have a beginning and an end point okay all right next one next pause if you need to okay move on if you need to I doubt you get it all down one shot so go back and review next one arc all right, section of the circumference of a circle that lies between two ends of a chord. Now we'll talk about the chord in a second, okay? But essentially, um, essentially, see two chords create, I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. Essentially, if these moved on, okay, if they went like this, they extended and went like that, okay? There's an arc, there's an arc, okay? One arc will make, I don't know if I'm explaining that right here. Let me try that again. Here, we'll do this. Here, I'm not going to edit We'll just carry on here. All right, so essentially this, yeah, I'll explain it properly this time. All right, this is an arc, okay? From this section to that section is one arc. The rest of it is the other arc, all right? So section of the circumference that lies between two ends of the chord. So here and here, that's one arc, and around the rest is another arc, all right? So, it's all you need to know is it's a section of the circle. So, here's one section, the rest is the other section. So, this makes two arcs, 
over here, okay? Beautiful. And yes, it looks like Pac-Man. Yeah, it does actually. Let's see if I can fill it in here. Alright, in here. Well, it's gonna take a while. Never mind. Alright, so let's move on. Alright, so make it black there again. And we go on. So pause if you need to, copy this down, and we'll explain it again uh, next day. Alright. Chord. Line segment that joins any two points on the circumference of a circle. Okay? This the length of this line segment here. Okay? Now, the difference between the chord and the diameter is the chord is anywhere on the circle. Okay? The diameter, however, runs through the center from one end to the other between and it passes through the center. Roughly, I hope that's the center. But that's the difference between a chord and the diameter. And the diameter. Diameter, there's only one in a circle. Uh, the chord, there can be many and in many different lengths. Alright? So that's the difference. Write that down somewhere. Okay? Difference between the, the, the diameter, the diameter, and a chord. Okay? Because there are many chords. Could be anywhere in the circle. Okay? Abs could be absolutely anywhere. Okay? Good? Good. Okay. Lots here. Please review, uh, uh, pause, and go back and make sure you get all this down, okay? So just make sure you have all this down before you finish. All right, and finally, let's review. Finally, all right, we're going to review here. All right, terms arc, chord, circumference, diameter, and radius refer to either a part of a circle or the length of that part, all right? So what is the diameter? The diameter has a measurement. Radius has a measurement. The arc is a part of the circle, okay? And as you can see, there's two arcs that are separated by this chord, all right? Here's one section here, one arc in red, and here's another arc in brown, okay? Now, diameter could be considered a chord, but it's a special chord, okay? It passes through the center, okay? Again, that's the difference between any chord, this one, and this diameter, this runs through the center. This does not. All right? And the radius also from the edge to the center. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please make sure that you come prepared with a compass. All right? And a geometry set for the next day if you not have one. If you do not have one already, make sure you have that and are prepared. Okay? Uh, get these down. Go back. Review. Make sure you've got everything. We will review very briefly and we'll get to work. All right? So, if there are any questions, um, Take them down. I'll be checking notes, and I will see you next day, all right? Thanks.